Hi, welcome to Storm in a Transit Van. I'm Alan. And I'm Carol. And we're off to see Ross down at uh, Webnet Camper Van Fly Screens up in um, Preston, Lancashire. He's going to come and uh, get us all measured up for our van because I'm useless at measuring. So I'll leave it to somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, and we'll take it from there. See you in a bit. and Lynn's factory unit. It's got to be right because obviously you've got to keep them the mosquitoes out and everything else. I'll just show you Ross's van. This is his van. Cracking van. It's a little... Well, I'll say a little. It's actually a long wheelbase Peugeot. Peugeot Boxer. And I love this sound here, what it's got on there. Not all those who, out, who wonder are lost. He's got his solar panels on the top there. And there's his little um, Instagram, what they are there. But it's a cracking van. It doesn't really matter what van you've got, as long as you can do it out to, to whatever you want to do, even if you just put a bed in it, you can actually physically get away, and that's what it's all about is to get away and do what everybody else does. If you spend a thousand pounds or twenty five thousand pounds, it doesn't matter, it's all about getting away and, and enjoying life, really. So I'll just take you around the back again. The backs, back doors are going to get um, the back doors going to get all uh, mosquito netted up as well. Right, we'll leave it there with uh, Ross and Diane for the moment. We'll jump onto a video that I missed from last time. Peter's van. Have a look at this. Right, we're back. Hopefully, you enjoyed the uh, the drone footage, which was uh, which was spot on. Um, I want to show you around this this van. It's uh, Peter's friend of mine. Um, it's got a VW VW camper van. He's just had it converted actually by uh, Freedom Conversions, and I love the colour of this. It's like a teal colour, but it'll tell me different. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little bit different than. There's only him on his own, so that's uh, it, it works well for him really. Fishing rods up there, which is brilliant. And what I really do like Look at that, look at that for storage. You've got your gas bottle, your uh, safari chef, and all your bits and bobs. Everything you really need. Push that back in there again for him. And the reason why he's got a gap here is to put his push pack in. He didn't want out on the back. And he's got the uh, the curtains on the back of here. And the beauty about having not having the uh, the barn doors is uh, if it's raining, it's a bit drizzly, you've got you've got that as another roof really. I'll just show you inside it, which uh, on the side. Cracking fridge, but he's took the freezer compartment out of that just to give him a bit more space. And um there's his diesel eater down there. But it's a cracking little van. And the best thing I'm I'm a bit jealous about is the actual height of it. Because you can get into normal car parts where you've got height restriction, whereas on man you just can't seem to get in. But that's uh, that's it there. I'll just take it from this handle for you as well. It's just got standard wheels on it, but it's quite happy with that because uh, you know you don't have to go too too far in any four before. Solar panel on the top. 
and that the added, added bonus is looking onto that in the morning when he wakes up. Right, see you in a bit. Well, we're back at uh, Ross and Diane's place, uh, their unit, and we've just had the sad f uh, screen put on, so have a look at that. I'll just turn the camera on for you. All fitted very well. I've just got to watch this. Um, we don't catch it on there, so I have to think about something to put on there. A bit of tubing or something when we get it out. Again, it's all fitted. Perfectly fitted. So, Ross is just altering the uh, the back the back one at the moment, it's not here yet, but it'll, it's just altering that to fit and then uh, we're all good to go catch you in a minute right so this is uh, Ross just just about finishing off you'll be able to see him through that mess because it's super fan as you can see I'll just zoom out a bit and then you can see it all there but yeah if you need any of these Get yourself down to Webnet, check him out. You'll, I've left a link on there for his uh, Instagram, so just uh, message him through Instagram. I, I'm the ugly one. He's the ugly one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, I never built it, so it'd be, it'd be quite, it'll be quite steady for you. So there we have it. Just uh, Ross there titivating it all up, but it is pretty much in and mosquito and midgey proof. Right here we go. Um, Ross is just fitting in the uh, the back um, screens now. A little bit of tweaking to do at the top, but it's it's, it's all good. Just at the top there's pointing out to you, just for the um, so the door mechanism closes on it. And the mesh is really, really, really fine mesh, so nothing's going to come through that. Twelve hundred holes per square inch. Twelve hundred holes per square inch. Ross has just told me so. Well, thanks for watching and uh, taking the time to watch this if you haven't already please subscribe like and share it and we'll catch you on the next blog thanks for now take care